Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we are going to see how to deploy your MuleSoft application into Cloud Hub using Mule Maven plugin. Okay, so this will be on the base of MuleSoft 4, and we are going to use Mule Maven pl uh, plugin 3.1.6 version. Okay, so so I will create one small application. File new, new Mule project. Okay, I will name this as a Mule Demo Application. Okay, I will select Mule World Server, runtime is 4.1.4. I will simply say finish. Okay, so let's wait till it created the application. It created the application. You can see Mule Demo Application.xml where we will going to define our flow, and there is a pom.xml. So it's very important to check the pom.xml. What are the defaults? You know uh, plugins you can find. So this is the def one of the default plugin that is new Maven plugin, which we will going to use for deploying our application to cloud up. And what is the uh, plugin version? It's 3.1.6. Okay. Let's start uh, with HTTP listener. So I will call HTTP listener. Then I will configure it. Okay. It's a simple like I will not going to define much more thing I will simply say ok and here I will say welcome ok now I will call one set payload and I will do set some payload here I will say welcome to MuleSoft deployment to cloud hub using Mule Maven plugin. Okay, so it's just a simple application. I will save it. Okay, so you know before uh, deploying application to Mule Maven plugin, we have to do some configuration. Uh, so okay, so for that, uh, if you see build plugin plugin in that plugin, you can see Mule Maven plugin. Under Mule Maven plugin, you can see the configuration section. In that section. You have to define where you have to do the deployment. Basically, this plugin can be used to do the deployment in the cloud, on any point fabric, or anywhere like on on a standalone application, on on cluster, whatever. So I will say Cloud Hub deployment. This is the first tag you need to define. Then you need to define Mule version. So in our case, 4.1.4. Okay. Then you need to define any point credentials username. So that is okay. I will define. I will give the password also. Okay. Then I need to define environment. So where you have to deploy the application in environment. So make sure your environment spelling is correct. Okay, in our case, we will going to sandbox. Fine. Now you also need to define the application name. Okay. So in my case, I will give mule test application. Okay. Okay, this is fine. So new test application. Apart from that, you need to define some more fields. It's not op compulsory; it's optional, but you can define it. It's always good practice to define workers. So in my case, I use only one workers. Also, you can define the worker type. Worker type. That is micro. I will going to take micro worker. Okay, these are the properties you need to define for deploying your application to Cloud Hub. Okay, so that's it. These are the properties you need to define. Just save it. Now we will build the application using Maven. So I do this is new demo application. I will just copy this path. I will say CD paste. Okay. And say MVN clean install. 
let me de delete it, uh, some applications like I have to do because I don't have much workers available with me. So I will delete some existing application. Let me check what happened. Okay, so this has been built successfully. Now, sec next step, you need to package and deploy. And make sure you put this the mule deploy. This is the goal which you need. Let's wait while application get deployed. It will package and then it will deploy. See it's saying deploying new test application. Okay, I have done some mistake. So it should not deploy test application. I need to change the application name to demo application. I will save all. I will build it again. then again use like command mule package deploy let's wait till it's deployed the application Okay, it start creating the application. You can see it here. See new demo application. Okay, let's wait till it deploy the application completely. So it's still in undeployed status. So it may take like two to three minutes because you know you are passing the application over the network, and now it's depend on the network also. So you will see the like, status will keep on changing. Let's wait. So now it's checking the application new is started or not. So now it's deploying. The status has been changed. Soon it will be in the status started. Okay, the application will be started. Here it will be. Okay, so let me do one thing. I will go to this. Okay, I will copy this path and try to run the application. Okay, I will give HTTP. Let's welcome. I will go to browser. See, 
So this has downloaded some file. Let me open. Welcome to deploy. We will start deployment to cloud up. Okay, here again you can see build is successfully. Okay, this is how you can deploy the application using Mule Maven plugin. I want to show you something more. So currently what we have done. In com.xml, we hard coded all the version and everything. Generally, we should not do that. We should avoid hard coding all these passwords and username. So I have an approach here. So what I will do? So instead of that, uh, we will define the properties like dollar username, dollar password, it's dollar environment, similar. Okay. So I will just copy this and I will replace all this hard coded value. Okay. Worker type and all this. I will just paste it here. Okay. So I will save all this thing and I will just build once again ambient clean install. And then what you have to do? So while running the command like ambient clean package deploy, so you have to pass minus D and this username. What property you define that minus D password, minus D environment, minus D mule version, mule dot version, whatever property is defined, minus D worker, and in this. Uh, minus the application, it's mule demo application and minus the mule deploy. I will copy this command. I will run this okay from here. So it will redeploy the application for you. So this is how you can do. No, you can define the properties and pass the properties value in that command in the Maven build or Maven deploy command. Okay, let's wait. So let me go to application. It started in the started mode. You can see it will give warning like your application will already exist and it will redeploy. So you will get that message in this command prompt. Okay, I have done one mistake again. It's not new. Okay, it's not sorry, sorry. It's correct, correct. It's new demo application. So application new demo application already exists and it redeploying. So now it started redeploying the application. And here you will see the status get changed. It will get changed. Generally, it should get changed. But sometimes it, it's too quick, so you will not be able to notice also if it is status getting changed or not. So let's wait. It started uploading the content. Let's wait. Okay, it will redeploy. It will take some time. Let's keep I there. Now it will starting new checking application. See, it has been a bit quick when while redeploying it, and we will test it once again. Okay, so you can see the welcome three message has been there. Lot of using new Maven plugin. So I have shown like two way of deploying the application using the uh, new Maven plugin. Okay, so thanks for watching video. I will, you know, in, in next video, I will show how you can configure the Jenkins job to deploy application to cloud up.